changed shortly, and we're just warning people that uh, we know that people consider these glasses have been her trademark for what three years. Golly, has it been that long? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while. They they've been my on camera um, trademark. Yeah, and uh, and she she her prescription didn't as much change as the fact that the lens weren't really fitting in. What happens is lenses tend to not fit in the glass frames much anymore. Of course, here's the other option: is not the lenses out and just wear the frames for being on camera. No, I know. Uh, I have. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, okay, most of the people today don't know who Phil Silvers is, but I grew up around Phil Silvers. Phil Silvers wore glasses for comedy bits on um, in vaudeville and when it came to movies he had to keep his glasses on uh, he didn't there were no glasses in his glasses they were an empty frame his entire life because he got stuck with the image of wearing the glasses you know four eyes silvers but uh, they are a very important thing with her the swimsuits are one thing the hair is another and the glasses are the one because the glasses are what it helps her, glasses help her stand out when she's doing interviews too because people, they go for the girl. No other, you won't see other women on an interview line wearing glasses. Mm -mm. They don't. So they can, they can remember too the, oh, the, the uh, Asian girl with the glasses. Which means uh, when we do something, it's just like um, people want to uh, hear our company's name. People basically tell us we've got to change the name, you know, because that's not works well. We'll go into events where they basically, they didn't get us registered, and then we'll go, ah, the dog people, yeah, I know them. Because we've got the unique name, they let us, they remember us. Mm -hmm. They remember when she's on a line, they, you know, she also got a very distinctive giggle that they pay attention to. People come to the giggle, <laughs> and then they remember the Asian girl with the glasses and the long hair, so that's... Yep. So it's all very important. And now our microphone. And our, now our microphone, which, you know, which we've taken apart at the moment, which has to get back together. But, we're, but no, we've got our own distinct, well, nobody but us uses an octopus uh, tripod for a microphone <laughs> handle. But it works, and people, and our, our fuzzies. Uh -huh. We make, we, she, we, uh, we manufacture our own covers for, uh, for lenses and, um, and, and our microphone and you know our recording because what's funny is we have we have something we no longer have access to which is going to have to change. Uh, the Zoom people were very good. The Samsung were very nice for years supplied us with uh, their equipment and then they had a change over in the company but we would uh, they give us uh, years ago a fuzzy cover that basically become our trademark. Somebody stole the cover at one of the events so then we went out and we went out and bought lots of material, and we we discovered that we could make our own fuzzies. And she's got lots of colors of fuzzies, and they still steal them. I cannot find some of the fuzzies that we had. The really nice fuzzies, there's only one of. They took those, but people expected. Uh, we have had no less than Ernest Borgnine, Academy Award winner, playing with the fuzzy. They do. I mean, it gives them something. And Ed Ashner, you know, keep that thing away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's making fun of the fuzzy. But everybody, we have everybody. We're talking, and you know, the kids love the fuzzies. The adults play with the fuzzies. So it's a it, they come to the fuzzy when we're doing interviews. Well, and a lot of you have your own trademarks yeah. in different areas. For some, sometimes women have a trademark scent. Yeah. Or they always love to wear pearls, or they love, you know, they're known for their nails. Yeah. Those are the things that make you stand out, make you different. Yeah, and people, like people don't, you know, uh, okay, we have two sets of people. The people that know me as an actor and the people that know me as old cam. Mm -hmm. And uh, actor, and I, so I wore cowboy jerm, all the kind of hats, but as old cam, I wear different color hats because the fact is, if we're green screening or something, or if we go outside my blonde hair, merges into the crappy background. It's why I wear colored t-shirts most of the time too. Because I'm trying to keep from from being lost. I'm a, I'm a, I know, even though I do have much of a tan, she knows it doesn't last long because I do have a German, you know, you know my mother's American, my grandmother's American and so forth, the whole such family. But I do not stay brown for very long. And I, I will be lost in the background if you see my hair. I mean, you go, 
I, I did the piece yesterday, and I God, that guy's hair is white. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, it's not white; it's blonde. And there is lucky though, if you look real carefully, she noticed it. I'm starting to get a summer red now. Mm -hmm. So it's weird now. He's got this blonde hair and red underneath. So it's uh -huh. my thing. I have to wear. Nobody tends to recognize me as old cam without a hat on. I know, isn't that the funny part? So I'll, we'll go to events, conventions, and I wear hats at the conventions. Only one I won't be is at Magic in August because then I'm going to be then I'm going to be more in my my uh, you know my really professional stuff jackets and silk shirts and and silk pants and because that's a big event. But she'll be she'll be dressed to the nines, which is also when she goes to something like that. She dresses for the occasion, and people expect to see her. There, shell shoes. shoes. Uh, her, she, her really, her shoes for going to the events. There's also another one of her trademarks. She wears these god awful, oh. ugly, comfortable shoes. You know. Well, because you walk a lot. Uh -huh. A lot, a lot, a lot. And people, they don't laugh at her shoes because the peop news people know those shoes because oh god they feel so comfortable well actually i have a, the shoes are a company called red back boots which um we've had for red back red back boots boot yeah i think we, we found those people it's an australian the, company we saw them at a restaurant show yeah which and, i thought was funny and these are the same types of shoes okay that Chefs might be wearing, police might be wearing, firemen might be wearing, um, other than their official ones, um, for them to be walking for very long periods of time. Yeah. I mean, she, she may go to an event wearing heels, but the heels come off as soon as she's going to get down on the floor because it's the same as all of the women do it. They get rid of those heels because they're going to be on their feet all day long. I mean, we do know, actually, we've known some people that basically had heels on all day long and if they went to the event at the night that they were hosting and they looked they were looked like they were going to die mm -hmm. and their ankles were swollen their feet were you know and then they they, they get the shoes off and, and the guys are having to do table diving underneath to find where the shoes are underneath the table because they get pushed out of the way by people's feet no but uh, trademarks i mean trademarks can be you know um monty is our biggest trademark you know, Monty is, Monty is our biggest draw. She always has been, always will be. I know. Actually, we're hoping to get her more on camera this next week. Yeah. Um, because part of it is we, Monty can go on top of the kitchen counter, yeah, which she has done before. It's, it's time that we're going to do some Ask Monty material. I wonder if she, we usually would do it outside. I wonder if she'll do an Ask Monty on the kitchen table. Yeah, the problem is Monty... Monty will turn her butt to things, though, so we probably need to do an ask. We need to do ask Monty's really outside, mm -hmm. where she can turn her rear around. But still, that's part of our trademark. We have spent about six years making everything the way it is, because I mean everybody knows I'm old and dumpy. Until I put on a tuxedo, then I look entirely different. Mm -hmm. So um, everybody knows her as as the J C, the not a spring chick are the bikinis are, are the end bikinis are. They're all things that are uh, personally that we've developed over the years. And the, you know, the JC, which is her real self, is a person that is, it, it, it actually the JC is far more conservative than not a spring chick is. She's buttoned down Asian. They can't do anything without a script. So, but that's, that's the person you know, um, there are those people that want not a spring chick to come interview them. There are those people that want the bikinis are to do the interviews. They, the bikinis are interviews are the best. Are you know, they, they like the bikinis are interviews the most. And then there are the people. I mean, like get them um, when we go to Magic, she'll be the J C, mm -hmm. because that's a button down event. But at, at uh, depending upon you know where else you can be, sometimes you can be the J C and not a. And, JC and not a spring chicken are the very same thing. It depends upon who you're interviewing. So, but, you know, we went on and on about <laughs> trademarks. Know, trademarks, they change. They can make you. They can break they you. Can break you. Trading your try changing your trademark. Yep. And if you're curious, just ask Coke. Oh, God. Did you see the companies that have spent a billion dollars trying to rebrand their company. Well, remember when the, the new Coke first came out? People, yeah. like, revolted. And Coke Zero. Uh, you know, they got rid of, uh, look what happened 
when um, Taco Bell got rid of the dog. Oh, their Chihuahua. Yeah, oh, they, they tanked badly. The companies are all trying to undo the damage they've done by changing the character. You can't go back. Once you've wiped it out, once you've dumped it, you can't ever go back. And they just... Um, changing trademarks in the industry and the industry in if you change the way you do things uh, you know it destroys careers it destroys companies I mean I know the Disney company for years has tried to get away from family entertainment well they, that's why the, the ones that are non-family they have different company brand names because yeah. for example what is Disneyland without Mickey Mouse that's right right that's right it's just like uh, okay uh, you have um, DC and Marvel are basically the same company, no matter what they want to say. But um, uh, they're rebranding, all of the superheroes are being rebranded to be anti-American. And everybody hates it. Everybody. Well, try, okay, for example, try the new Captain America, who in some countries is, the name has changed, it's not Captain America. No, it's, it's, what they're, it's what they're using like his new name, which is Captain World. Yeah, but it's, it's like the Disney company has never, they said they've never changed names when you go from country to country. I know. And they did this time. They, they own Marvel and Captain America. But remember, the, uh, they had to give their approval for Captain America to no longer support America in the 21st century. I know. So they had to give their... <laughs>